Hi guys, good afternoon. It's a bit sunny, um, it's about three o'clock, so, but it was a bit cloudy this morning, so um, I saw some sun and decided to just show you a little bit of the city, uh, the London city. Um, you know, that you don't, don't usually uh, see, you know, you don't usually um, go for the most, uh, the more residential roads and stuff. Um, so rather than, you know, obviously seeing the most famous uh, monuments and, you know, all the, um, you know, usual spots and stuff, um, we want to just just see a bit of a different London, London, you know, the London that you can see maybe if you live here or, you know, um, things like that. Ooh, let's cross. Just crossing illegally. Um, but yeah, let's see. So we are close to Old Street. So there is a um, Old Street station is going to be down there. Um, and we're now going towards uh, the city center. Um, towards Holbjorn. If that, you know, if you if you're interested in knowing the areas. Um, oh, look at that. We can see the shard from here already. So we've got the shard down there, which is that very tall skyscraper, um, which is basically, well, really far from here. Um, it's really far. It's on the other side of the of the river of the Thames. Um, yeah, hopefully we will get to see that as well. A bit closer. Um, yeah, this area is not uh, really exciting. It's just a few shops, um, some electronic shop. Um, there's Domino's. For the Americans watching, the um, you guys be, will be happy to know that Domino's. <laughs> Is, uh, is uh, available in the UK as well. Um, a few shops, as you can see, bars are open. You know, even cafes are open in the in the afternoon, even though it's Sunday. This is a this is a particular one. It's like a it's like a cycling cafe type of thing. You know, for um, there's a shop, in fact. There's a shop on the side. Um, so yeah, there is a shop, a bicycle shop, and and they have a cafe right there next to it. You can see well, um, music, um, instruments uh, being sold in the store. Hi right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna turn this way, which is a bit of a more, uh, you know, um, on let's say unpopular area for tourists. It's more of a um, residential slash um, just commercial area, really. Uh, we can see uh, one of the stores and of the main uh, chains for groceries in the UK. Um, but yeah, this this is mostly uh, an office area, um, Monday to Friday, so right now it's a bit dead, uh, shops are closed, even some uh, food places are closed, restaurants over there, as we can see. But we're going this way because, uh, ooh, look at these, interesting. We're going this way because there is um, a market down there, which we'll see in a second. Um, and then there, there could be, you know, a couple of uh, cool spots to look at. As I said, it's just mostly stores. Um, another restaurant. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, just this is, you know, this is 
Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's the real London. Well, it is the real London, the residential uh, London. Uh, if you live here, you're gonna see these areas more than than tourists do. But um, yeah, it's definitely not not one of the uh, worst areas. You know, there are worse areas. In fact, hopefully, um, we'll get to see them in uh, in another vlog. Uh, because yeah, of course, everybody everybody wants to see the uh, important spots and the famous things and monuments and whatnot. But um, yeah, you know, there's there's um, tough, uh, rough neighborhoods in in every city, I guess. But check it out. Let's keep uh, let's keep looking. It's a lot of. Um, One thing that is never missing in London is the um, um, constructions um, or just uh, just uh, either for new buildings or just you know fixing old buildings. Not much down here. Pinoteca, Italian restaurant. There's another Italian restaurant over here. Pasta and pasta and something. Pizza. My pizza. Interesting name. Um, but down there we can see a very popular uh, bakery. One of my favorites, in fact, Paul. I think it should be a French chain or something. Um, so there's a few, there's a few stores in the, um, um, in the city. Ooh, let's cross in the city, um, but they've got very, very nice, uh, very nice um, pastries. But anyways, this is where. We wanted to, to go and have a look. This is called the Spitalfields Market. Um, so and it's it's uh, uh, not a touristic area at all, obviously. Um, it's uh, it's a market, as you probably guessed, but um, it's one of those mostly aimed at uh, businesses. So you can come here. At night, I think after 11 or after midnight, I think, and it's open until um, until 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock in the morning. Look at that clock. Um, but yeah, and, and basically down here there is different stalls. No, we can't we can't get in now, but. Um, these different stalls uh, from different vendors um, yeah just selling like poultry you know beef all the usual stuff um, so yeah well I haven't I haven't had the chance myself to to come here and buy some uh, some of these uh, this um, nice meat but I heard it's uh, it's very good quality, so I just uh, I just haven't uh, haven't found the strength to wake up uh, early just to just to come and get um, this um, you know this type of meat here. But let's keep going. We're just going back on the main uh, on the main road where we came from, and we're gonna turn. Turn this way. We can see there's a lot of trucks already. Probably bringing the uh, the uh, goods in for to the market. So now the restaurant here.
but check this out so this is one of uh, my favorite let's say hidden gems in uh, in London um, and I'm not talking about the bars or the pubs um, I'm talking about the uh, historical um, building slash area that we have down here now we have we have some uh, this is a bar and pubs area we've got um, yeah a few of these places during the week they're they're very um, very busy they're packed with people you know coming after work getting the getting a pine after work it's a big um, British thing I guess uh, probably not not just British but it's, it's a big thing in uh, in the UK, the pint after work, a pint of beer or, or cider, depending on your, um, on your, uh, you know, uh, taste, on your, um, um, but yeah, um, so enough talking about um, beer, because we're not here, we're not tasting beer today, but I just want to show you this, um, this area well which is um, a nice unexpected um, area in the middle uh, in the heart of the city of London in fact now if we look down there we can see a few historical buildings and Again, I had a walk down here and I discovered it and I, it's, it's just a nice, um, it's just crazy how, you know, London's got all these skyscrapers and, and very modern, uh, very modern places. And then you just walk around and you, you see these, uh, these old, these old constructions. In fact, this is the start of the, of the, um, of the historical building as you can see there is a huge door and there is uh, the um, that old type of uh, doorbell um, used uh, I don't know until when I don't know when the first um, ring bell was, uh, was invented but um, yeah it looks pretty ancient now we can see something about this place called the Charter House. Okay, so which is going to be this side. Uh, it's probably from from here to to down there, where the uh, historical building ends. Um, but it's a uh, but it's a uh, yeah. Seems like it could be as old as the 1300s or something so just look at these walls they look ancient interesting and we can see even the uh, the floor, the road, it's got these uh, um, stones almost, if I, if I can say, but there we go. So this is the Charter House, um, really interesting, really nice to see to discover places like this in the in the in the earth of London um, let's see um, what we can find out about this place but it really does look like one of those uh, interesting um, um, buildings well it's a charter house, of course. Um, let's see what we can we can see over here. Seven centuries of history. 
so there's tours of the of the of the charter house Tuesday to Saturday um, but yeah we're not we're not gonna do that today we just want to find out a bit more about the um, charter house which if I'm not wrong and I have uh, I have looked up online uh, a while ago uh, it's it used to be also a, um, a school so it used to be some kind of school for uh, you know for people that couldn't couldn't afford um, you know the um, the usual uh, education um, um, channels let's say the, the usual education uh, um, ways but um yeah there we go Clark and Wells best kept secret so this area this this neighborhood is, is uh is called Clark and Well and uh yeah as you can see behind this the walls of this uh ancient acre no sorry ancient uh, seven acre site uh, can you know this, this, these uh, these constructions can date back to the 1300, which is quite interesting. But anyways, down here we've got just uh, I, I want to call it park, but it doesn't seem too um, too nice at the moment. Sorry, London. Sorry, Charter House, but. Yeah, there's no grass literally over here, a little bit over here, but, and it's, uh, yeah, it's um, dirty as well, but anyways, let's check it out. This is where I wanted to go, oh, and by the way, there you go, we can see the charter house again, from this side, so it should be starting from that big black um, door over there, gate then moving 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 and then there's the other gate here which uh which we just saw earlier but let's have a look over here because this looks like it's linked to that charter house wow really ancient stuff i think Now, yes, yeah, we can see in the 1370, many founded the uh, monastery that gave the site its name, Charter House. So it used to be a monastery. Um, and then in 1545, was bought and uh, eh, it became a monastery, as I said earlier. And uh, then it was bought again and extended and it became a, a mansion. And then in 1611 it was bought again and turned into a charity school. As I said, an uh, almshouse for the poor. But it, I don't think it still is today. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the story of it. And it's, it's cool to, to find this place just in... You know, in the center of London, in just a residential area, which you know you would you wouldn't expect to to find such a ancient um, um, you know constructions. All right, guys, I forgot to say, when I reach three thousand subscribers, I'm gonna quit my job and travel the world and get vlogs for you every every week vlogs are at least one a week but probably more but yeah so if you want to see travel vlogs you know around the world nice places um, Asia Indonesia South America all places I want to visit subscribe and let's get there we will get there at some point and yeah so I can I can produce nice content cheers thank you guys